Hi, this is Tom Does Tech. I'm Tom, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use MongoDB change streams. But more specifically, I'm going to show you how to use change streams with Mongoose and TypeScript. So you can see here that when you create a model, you get this nice little API here that allows you to watch for changes on the model. And you get the same API in MongoDB. So if you are using MongoDB without Mongoose, you can follow along with this tutorial as well, but your syntax will be slightly different. So it's important to note that change streams only work when you're using MongoDB replica sets. So the easiest way to get MongoDB replica sets running locally, in fact, the easiest way to get MongoDB running locally is to use Docker. And if you come over to the Tom Does Tech GitHub profile, you'll see this awesome Docker Compose. And inside here, you'll see some applications that you can run, including dgraph, Kafka, LocalStack, MongoDB, and this MongoDB replica set. So if you clone this repository, you can CD into the repository and we can have a look and we see we get this MongoDB replica set. So if you CD into that folder, it's as simple as running docker compose up minus D. And this is just going to run it in detached mode. So once this is finished, you can come over to your docker dashboard and you can see here you have this mongodb replica set and you have it running here and you're good to go so i'm here in vs code and i have a very simple application and all it does is connect to this mongodb instance and you can see the connection here and then i have this user model here and this user just has a few properties on it email first name and last name and you can see here that we also have a user input interface and a user document that extends Mongoose document and the user input. We also have this function here that creates a user given a payload. And that function is called inside this run function. And we're using Faker to generate a random email, first name and last name every time the function is run. So I can run this application here by typing yarn dev. And if we have a look here, you can see our collection users. And I apologize, you can't zoom in with Robo3T. So when I say something is here, you're just going to have to trust me. So we have this document here with a email, first name, and last name. So let's go ahead and implement watch. So I'm going to say user.watch. I'm just going to pass an array of parameters. And if we command click into watch, we can see what watch will take. And you can see here, it's going to take pipeline, which is an array, and then it's going to take some options. So in fact, we can remove this array and then we can type dot on. And this is going to take a string and we're going to put in change. And then this is going to take a callback and a callback is going to take our data. And let's just console log the data for now. You can see here that we get this big object printed to the console. And this is coming from our watch. So there's a few interesting things to note here. One is this operation type. In this case, it's insert. And then the second interesting thing is this full document. So let's try add some types for this. And if we hover over data, you can see that it takes a change event. And so this change event actually comes from MongoDB and not Mongoose. So let's import that. So I'm going to import change event from MongoDB. And if we command click into change event, you can see here that it takes a generic and the generic is our schema. So let's import our user document schema from our Mongoose model. And if you're unsure how to create your document interfaces, I have a full tutorial on that that I'll put in the description below. So let's type our data here as a change event. And we'll put in our user document as the generic. So now let's try print this full document. So we'll say data dot, and you can see we get ID, cluster time and operation type. And interestingly, we don't have full document on here. So to understand why full document exists in the payload here, 
but not on data, we need to dive into change event. So you can see that change event is any one of these types. So you have change event CR, change event update, change event delete, change event rename, other, and invalidate. So if we try force it on there and say full document, and the reason I'm showing you this instead of just showing you how to do it is because if you follow this process, you'll figure out how to use any types that come from a library. So you can see here, full document does not exist on change event user document. Full document does not exist on change event delete. So that makes sense that it doesn't appear on delete. So if you remember, we have this operation type insert. Let's say if data dot operation type equals, and you can see we get some nice helpful hints here from TypeScript. And the one we're looking for is insert. Now let's have a look and see if full document appears on data. And you can see here we get much more options and full document is there. So the reason for this is because full document only exists on certain number of events and insert is one of those. Let's copy this and have a look at some of the other events. So this one can be replace. And you can see full document exists on replace as well. So let's just say user inserted. And down here we'll say user updated. Now let's watch our delete. And you can see we get ID, cluster time, document key, and operation type and transaction number. So let's just log the ID and we'll wait for our server to restart. And if we have a look in Robo3T, we have a few more documents now and we can edit one of these documents. So we'll change the last name here and you can see we get a user updated and you get the new document here. You can see this is what I updated the last name to. And now let's delete one of these documents and we should see a user deleted operation. We'll delete the document and we get user deleted. So that is how to use change events with watch in Mongoose. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.